it is Sunday morning. I'm very pleased to be out on a bicycle ride this early in the week. And the Get Along, get along Gang has assembled again for a very quick uh, jolly around our little village. Again, I've got no crash helmet because uh, I've left it at work with my mountain bike. So uh, I've put my hood up in case I fall off. And I am riding my wife's bike. She has taken one for the team and is riding the old Banger Rally, which is too small for me. Let's get some miles in. So I will be the first to admit that my video blogs have been as dull as dishwater, probably now for the last couple of months. Uh, and for that, I have to say I'm very sorry. Um, I have had constraints which have stopped me getting on my bicycle so much as I would like to. Um, so if you're still here, thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, I'm going to make every effort to make them more exciting from now on. Um, <clears throat> my old Mercedes has now gone. Um, and I've not been using that for bike calling for the last few weeks whilst it was for sale. So um, I have now procured a new motor vehicle, which is wicked for biking. So um, bike hauling will be coming back soon. Uh, I have managed to find some roof bars for it. I've got to fit my roof racks onto it. Sorry, my bike racks onto it before we can go anywhere. But uh, I reckon we might even visit Old Hill Bike Park as a family next weekend. So I better get on and get that new wheel. Anyone who is in the UK will appreciate how terrible the weather has been this year. Uh, I don't mean constant rain, uh, which we had obviously up until about May. We had some delightful weather in June for about three days. And uh, since then it's been like this, a bit damp and very much like April. We call it April showers over here in the UK, uh, which has not made it easy to get out on a bicycle without getting caked in mud, which I don't mind so much. But uh, when there's three of us, we do so uh anyway the weather has been a bit pony i'm still wearing a hoodie in july that is unheard of i'm normally full-on flip-flop and linen shorts by now but not this year it's just been rubbish but we're making the most of it today even if we do get just three or four miles it's better than nothing and at least we're out here fitness levels not what they were and they were never great this hill is hard work. That was horrible. This is nice though. This is the next village along from us. Don't know where we're going. <laughs> now swing a bit. found this nice little park in the village which unfortunately is really kicking up my hay fever <laughs> so we'll be off in a minute oh it is still not gone it hasn't been as bad as it was a few weeks ago but uh yeah still suffering every day fair play to uh, my wife she's absolutely beasting in uh, on that horrible bike <laughs> but i'm grateful that we've got it today because otherwise we'd be sat at home Okay, that is today's ride done and dusted. It was boring. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Let's have a look. Where did we manage? 3.91 miles. Can't argue with that. I'm very pleased to get out on my bicycle at the weekend because uh, those rides have been few and far between lately, but hoping for a proper bicycle ride on my mountain bike next week. I will see you in the next few days. Meet my new bike hauler. Yeah. Right, yes, it is Thursday morning and I'm on a bicycle ride and it is long overdue. I think I got out once at the weekend. I think on my wife's bike, perhaps I can't even remember. Uh, but yes, yeah, today is Thursday and I have got an opportunity for a bicycle ride, so I have taken it and uh, going on a bit of an extended one today on the Wellsburg Trail. Techers. 
So my bicycling has really taken a back seat of late and it's not through choice. Um, my desire to get out my bicycle is high. My opportunity to do so has just been at a minimum that it's been for a long time, uh, which sucks. But I am making amends today. I'm going on a bit of an extended loop. I've uh, got a bit of time to play with today uh, for some more bicycling stuff this afternoon. I'll tell you about that later. But for now, let's go and probably get about eight or nine miles, I reckon. Jeez. Anyway, being off the bike has really started to take its toll on my fitness levels and my beer gut, which I'm not proud of. Probably my eating habits have not helped, but I always eat better when I'm exercising. Uh, and that's been off the cards anyway. So uh, it's a bit of a struggle to be honest with you. Plus I'm still suffering from hay fever. So I'm still chesty all the time. Oh, I need to get a break. <laughs> So today the weather is a bit muggy, it's pretty warm and uh, it's not meant to rain today but I'll tell you what it doesn't half feel thundery today and uh, I suppose there's always an opportunity we are setting up for a uh, height, uh, setting up for a heat wave in the UK uh, potentially with record temperatures in the next two weeks and the uh, forecast stated uh, something like with no chance of rain in sight so uh, uh, this might be the nicest most comfortable bike ride I do for a bit because I don't really like riding when it's too hot but I will if I have to but for now let's struggle along this path <laughs> uh, see a cyclist up ahead can I go past let's find out On your right. Thank you. Yeah. Despite being massively unfit, I think I might beat my record for riding on this little section. I shall find out later and let you know. All right, little uh, downhill stint is out of the way. And now I've got like the two mile climb. Oh, I do need a drink. I don't know what has happened to my uh, my bottle that clips onto my bicycle, I've lost it. So uh, that's one of the dangers of not riding your bike for ages. You misplace stuff. <laughs> but I've got a bottle of water in my bag if I need it. But I can't be bothered to stop, to be honest with you. Probably not until I get to at least the very top. <sighs> Grin and bear it. Think of the calories burned. Almost at the top. It's hard work, but it's actually not that bad if you keep your chin down and just keep going. Man, I wish I'd had more time for biking. My fitness levels have dropped. Anyone who follows me on Instagram will see that I've had this uh, little uh, game going with my back wheel. I'm playing back wheel Russian roulette, waiting for it to fail basically, but I have decided not to do that. I've got to be sensible, cannot afford to take time off work. Uh, so I don't want to hurt myself or take out the rest of my uh, drivetrain. So I have purchased a new back wheel, which is quite a nice one. It's not a really expensive one, but it's a Hope uh, Hub. And a hope rim, I think. Yes, it is hope or full hope. Uh, so uh, I've got hope hubs on there now. So I'd like to stick with what I've got. Um, so I have got a new back wheel I'll be putting on later. So hopefully uh, I can get away from this because probably can't see. My back wheel is absolutely hanging and flopping about all over the place. It's time to change it. So that's happening later on today, assuming I've bought the right bit because there's so many different standards of hubs, splines, uh, cones and all this sort of stuff. So hopefully I've got that right. I'll check it all thoroughly before bunging a tire and some sealant in there, but uh, looking forward to that. Also, you will have noticed that I've got myself a new motor vehicle, um, which is long overdue. It's been weeks since I've been able to transport a bicycle properly, uh, purely because I took all my racks off of my car, my Mercedes, in order to sell it and I didn't want any crap or anything inside it, it was all kept nice for the new owner so um, that is a, a really good result actually I'm currently working on uh, you know bike transportation methods with roof racks and all this kind of thing I need to buy another roof rack for the roof for Sam's bike so we can keep them all outside now it's a bit wider um, 
But uh, yeah, that is a work in progress, but I need to figure that out and get them as wide apart so we can fit one in the middle and all that kind of stuff. So that is my plan for today. And uh, I am pleased to announce that work has picked up a little bit. Uh, went for a bit of a quiet spell, but it has picked up, which is good. But it also means I haven't got much time for biking. All right, so uh, yeah, that's a little bit about what's going on in my world. Anyway, let's get to this post office. That way. That was really tumbleweed. I had no idea that guy was walking up behind me. He must have thought, what on earth is this dude doing chatting to himself? Oh well, don't care. This is the first time I've been on this horrible matting stuff this year and it hasn't been really slippery. So I'm actually making good progress. Aside from all the holiday makers that are walking on it, there's a lot of people here on holiday at the moment. They're not even sticking to the holidays at the moment. Any time will do. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of why I'm on this path because the road to uh, North Cot Mouth is hell when there's holiday traffic. Just impossible to make any pro any progress. So I'm using this route for a bit, I think. Not that I've been down there for a long time, but uh, soon perhaps. We are now post office bound and uh, making some progress. And uh, not a very eventful uh, last journey for my back wheel. <laughs> But um, I'll probably keep it as a spare, I guess. I don't know. To do with old wheels. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Got a bit of news about our house move as well coming up soon. If you're interested. I always think that field just over there would make a wicked little bike park like a mini old hill. Oh, I want there to be jumps there. Did I say the holiday makers have turned up? That's normally a rugby pitch. Who buys a Fiat pickup truck? Didn't even know they existed. It is fast approaching 11 o'clock and let me tell you, when you've got a tummy this big, it lets you know when it's lunchtime. And that time is now. So let's get on with it. Hey right, mate, you meant to be in there. Don't think you are. But uh, good luck to you. Yeah, boy. Love this underpass. Nearly back. I'm starving. Farewell, old Will. I miss you. Unless my new one doesn't fit, of course. Poor blimey, that was hard work today, but I did manage 11.43 miles, which I am pleased about. And this week has kind of resembled a normal week, uh, minus a couple of bike rides. Uh, but I have been out a couple of times, which is more than I can uh, say for the last uh, quite a few weeks. Anyway, so uh, hopefully I can get my bike all sorted with my new bicycle wheel today and uh, finish setting up the bike racks on the car. Because uh, there is potential, if I'm not too busy tomorrow, for a little excursion. We'll have to wait and see, but it is way day tomorrow, ordinarily, but I'm still not doing that. So if this is it, then I shall see you next week. But I might show you a bit of my wheel stuff later. Who knows? I don't know. It's very hot today. Can't think straight. Bye. Right, let's try and get this wheel done. Bling.